So you can see we, well, we seem to have a reoccurring theme. So one of our rams and a couple of the Shetland ewes are having to share their pen with pigs that have got out again. So you can see they got out up there by the looks of it. Through the hurdles, eating the string again. We did put a bigger pig house in here the other day. Um, just given the amount of damage they've done, we thought we really ought to just let them have the pen really and then reseed it next year. Um, although they have done quite a lot more damage now. There's not masses of grass there. Um, probably be a good idea anyway because there's a few nettles growing in it so they can root those up and do a reseed some reasonably clean afterwards. Um, this is quite unusual. Maybe the second time it's happened. At least the sheep have got a bale, so the sheep aren't really going without. There wasn't masses of grass in here anyway, really. They were just in here as a breeding group. Um, I'm amazed at how tolerant the sheep are being of it, actually. There we are. So thankfully pigs really are quite partial to food. They've just followed in a sort of a sprinkling of food. Should really shut them in before they get out again. So tied the hurdle back up. Hopefully it will work on this time for at least a few days or something. Um, I was quite amazed really. They've been out now twice for a, well, a few hours each time. And they have had a good go at turning over, I don't know, maybe a third of the turf in the pen. So there's still some, but really they've only been out, you know, if they've had a total of 12 hours or something, that would be it. So, really quite effective ploughs. Another, well, should be rather unusual scene. Um, in reality, it's becoming a bit of common at the moment, it's almost daily. So, pigs are out again with the sheep. It seems to be doing anyone, there seems to be any problems really, but um, just all a bit random. Might be considering a little work there. Not too stressed about it really. They have got a bigger house that we put in. I think I might have showed you that already. Um, problem is we've got a bale out for the sheep at the moment, so over there. It's a shame to waste it by moving the sheep somewhere else. So we may as well just live with the scenario for a few days and then see where we end up in a couple of days. Just sheep through the hedge at Summer Hill. I haven't actually realised I'm here yet. Please it all run to me. Very calm. Enjoying the warm evening. Warm dry evening, which is quite a nice change. Okay, so this is well, I just put a new gate on to one of the gateways at Summerhill, which is on the kind of most used footpath running through it. Um posts are not put in properly um, by the previous tenant who rehang one of these rotten gates um, which to be honest with you I'm not going to cope with my wily sheep um, so anyway put this on at the moment I'm reluctant to do anything too decent with a new set of hinges and put it on properly because we've actually got some new posts that we've got a contractor well, I'm supposed to come in well, a few weeks ago and he keeps kind of putting it off so hopefully well he said this week but hopefully next week maybe um come in and put some new eight foot postings these are sevens and they're just not coping with the leverage of the gate really um so they're just wobbling around 
Uh, so I'm just trying to make the best of a bad job and I'm going to tie some, some string, tie some hurdles onto the bottoms. Um, but it's got to be fairly easy to open because it's a, obviously a public footpath. Um, so the wooden gate's got this type of catch on it, which I've just taken out of some old holes. Um, and I'm hanging it sideways so I can get it to kind of work on the new metal bolt for the time being. So I've just hit it in a bit further, just well, so you can see it's in a bit. And it means it's reasonably easy to open and shut for anyone. And I hope they might actually shut the gate behind them, which would be nice. Um, see how that goes. Hurdles on. I should just show you the hurdles. Um, so there's quite a big gap under the gate, you can see. Um, my sheep would definitely go underneath it. So I put some hurdles on. There's a bit of a gap you can see underneath. Um, underneath the hurdles, you can see they're not actually touching the ground. So they should, well, I'll try it now. It should just open. Mm. Yeah, it does catch a little bit over there, but in fairness, this is a nice width footpath. And it is a footpath. So I think this will be absolutely fine. You see the sea view for the next field when they're going into in a few minutes. They've all definitely seen me now. Yeah, uh, more than ready to go on some fresh grass. Just untie this bit of string. And we'll be away. Ah. There's boards in the middle there. He changed his crayon to a blue one a couple of days ago. Not sure if anything's blue yet. I think it is actually. There's one blue paint on her side, but she had a dose of antibiotics for some, I think it was foot rot possibly. I'll have to double check the paperwork. Um, but yeah, I think they're happy to see the New grass. Double check to make sure there's nothing left. Very much doubt it. It's getting a bit soft, this field. At the top edge, weirdly. Which we didn't really expect. So no, everything's it's all empty. So big bushy hedge, hoping to lay this in the next couple of years, well that and the one at the far side there, might do that one this winter if we can get time, and then this one is a bit of a bigger project really so that probably, well almost certainly won't be this winter, so we've got the shed going on this winter, um, but yeah. This looks a bit iffy. I'm just going to give that a little adjustment. Looks a bit loose. So the sheep are all here. Um, brought a bucket of me strap forge because I couldn't catch him last night. Um, where his harness is broken. Can't get it to stay back in here, so I just tied it in a knot to hold it up. So he needs it another few days. About another week, I think. But yeah, anyway, should feed them properly. What the ladies won't get any um, with their shirt. raining now which is quite nice because it has been raining quite a bit
and they thought he'd be happy with the he doesn't have to share. But it's only fair. So yeah, no, I'm notoriously rubbish at these plastic clippy things. Next time Sid's with me, I'll get him to do it properly. But for the moment, that's okay, I guess. Not actually seeing any blue bums, although his crayon's quite well worn. So, must be some. And to be honest, I can't see. There's a lot of orange and green. Choking sheep, which is okay. Yeah, most of them are orange or green. Some both, actually. Few of them still nothing. I guess the grey one could have blue on and it'd be quite hard to tell on that colour of fleece. It's quite long fleece actually, she could have probably done much shearing in the autumn. But I guess it'll keep it warm. See the sheep in the sun. I don't know what size this field is, I can't remember, it's about two acres I think. It's quite nice here actually, we've got nine fields and they're all fairly small, um, but it means we can just move them on regularly to our fresh grass, which is ideal really, exactly what we want to be doing. See nice big hedges. Hopefully we'll lay some of the hedges soon. That's probably only one or two small bits this year and then do some bigger bits next year. See we, um, well, some branches got cut so we could get to the fences to do a few bits of improvement. And um, it's a high nature status, um, National Trust high nature status um, tenancy that we've got. We leave the dead wood. Um, wildlife and habitat so there's quite a lot we've kind of moved it as close to the hedge as practical really you see there's plenty of habitat left so people think of sheep as quite harsh grazers and as long as you move them on regularly they don't really they don't need to overgraze and they will browse the hedges a bit but there's still plenty of habitat left They'll be in this field maybe a week or two and they'll be moved again and that'll be it then till they'll probably come back in maybe briefly to all the fields in the spring um, before we close them for hay so they probably only graze well we will only graze each of the fields twice probably once in the spring sort of early spring and once sort of autumn winter and then we'll cut it in between the sort of spring grazing and the winter grazing So finally got round to strimming the a really coarse pile of nettles kind of just as the, by the gate, well, the hole where the gate should be. Um, you see we've got some materials that's just waiting for the contractor. So the baling guy had to, um, well, we had to widen the gateway for him to get through with his trailer. Um, so we, it was a 12 foot gate before we're gonna put a 16 foot gate in there. Um, hoping to put a bit of a holding pen in here for sheep or we're going to make it tall enough that eventually if we um, well, hopefully we'll get some cattle so make it tall enough for the cattle um, I'm just going to start tidying up the hedge just by hand so I think we're going to struggle to get a hedge cutting machine on the tractor in here until well until the ground's much firmer so when it's frozen I guess um, 
and it'll be awkward to do once the handle and pen is in so we're probably always going to have to do this bit by hand anyway so I might as well do it now So exactly why we always want to leave the um, kind of dead wood that we cut off. Lost it. Exactly why we want to leave the dead wood that we cut off around, just for wildlife to kind of go in and out of. So robins obviously benefit from well-managed hedges, so laid hedges. Um, which we're going to do on a rotation. But at the moment it's enjoying all of the, um, the branches I've cut off so far by hand. Um, you see there's a bit of blackthorn, a little bit of hawthorn, and a bit of hazel. Kind of in a, well, unmanaged hedge really, it's just completely overgrown. Most of the hedges here are, are ready to be laid really. This is kind of a quick fix. So we can get the handling pen in this top section. Um, you can see, I've cut a bit off so far. A little bit still to go. So we're just getting some of the, well, some of the sheep ready for the abattoir tomorrow morning. Um, so these are last year's lambs, so these are hogget. So they are a year and a half oldish. Um, so some of them are going tomorrow, so five are going tomorrow, and then some are going, I think, a week later. Um, so we're going to basically pick out the biggest ones, which we haven't got scales here at the moment. Um, so we're just going to have to do it by eye and by feel, really. Um, yeah. Also, I think if this one is going to go, we're going to have to re tag him because he's lost part of his ear and we need two tags to be able to take him to slaughter. So, some nice, uh, nice meat here. 